Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 33 of Let's Partner Miva Land Legendary Edition. Alright, let's keep going. What does this lady say? Ah, I'll never be ready for the celebration. Everything must be perfect. Youngsters don't remember what the war was about. These days, they just use it as an excuse to party, but so many died for their freedom. Many humans, and even more demons. Peace has prevailed in the Empire for almost 50 years. We're going to celebrate in style. Nothing so awful could ever happen to us now. We have no more enemies. Okay. It's in here. Ah, so this is the three sisters thing that I was talking about. We never actually visited this place. Oh, Tenji. Tenji, available in the year 2050. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be called something else by then. Alright, what do these sisters have to say? We're three sisters! Hee 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 hee! Yeah, see, like the other one said that they're two sisters and these ones said three. I don't understand what they're referencing, what it's about. More 5G. Jeez, I keep finding 5G. Alright, what about this woman here? What does she say? Have you seen a boy all dressed in green? Nope. If I find him, he'll be sorry. He just walked into my house and started smashing all my beautiful pots, yelling, Yeah, yeah! <laughs> my servants are distraught over it. He will not get away with this, mark my words. If I find him, he'll be sorry. Okay. If you say no or yes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> she just says exactly the same thing. I haven't set eyes on a demon in years. All the ones taken prisoner work on the mine, uh, work the mines nowadays. They got what they deserve. After all, they were the ones who attacked us, right? Sometimes I wonder how my parents lived through the war. I mean, that must have been horrendous, right? All those terrifying demons lurking around every corner. Okay, good. Nothing. What about in here? Eventually we'll find a card player. You're too young to remember the great age of the Colosseum. That was a good 50 years ago. I was just a youngster then. I remember being a big fan of one fighter in particular. Now what was his name again? Menor 6? Something like that. I don't know... Like, I assume he's referring to Menos, but I'm pretty sure Menos's name was just Menos, or I don't think it was Menos 6. six. My husband doesn't do any chores. All day long he just screws off and daydreams, but I can't really hold it against him. That's just how he was raised. Ah, okay, yeah. I, I think I noticed this before, but now I've really noticed it. So, um, in this same house, like, it must be the same kid. So there was a boy in this house, and then the woman in the house in the past was his mother. And she was like, oh, I'll let him play around while he's young, and then, you know, he'll, he'll realize afterward life is not as easy as, as it seems. And now he got married, and the, the wife is just like, ah, it's just, it's not his fault, it's how he was raised. <laughs> That's funny. My granddad told me how one time some folks escaped through the sewers. They've been sealed up since, but I still have, have to watch them just in case. Who knows, the pirates of the bay might feel like attacking. You think they could get in through the sewers? Hmm. I don't know. This house was enterable in the past, but it doesn't seem like it is now. Rumors have it that a monster lives up in the um, old forest north of the Mayan bridge. They say it guards a valuable treasure, but then since the bridge is blocked by a boulder, no one can go and check. My father was a lieutenant in the Emperor's army, but he just doesn't get that times have changed. The Emperor barely has any power now, and the army is basically an empty shell. I think I'll become a traitor. Is there like, I don't know, you can't enter this house, can you? Nope. Okay, let's go into the one with the shield. We never actually went in here. I think there is something in here. It's like some money, 3G, 1G, 5G, 4G, and a glitch for all to see. Super glitch. <laughs> There's only like a little divider there, but you can go around all the way. <laughs> and can I get one from here too? No? Okay. What does this guy have to say? It may be peacetime, but how would you like some nice new gear? Sure. Alright, steel sword, minus eight attack? I don't think so. Steel belt and boots? Yeah, why not? 150G. But noise maker, this noise maker of a belt is not suitable for thieves or rogues. They protect your feet, but not against blisters. <laughs> Have a good one. What an Australian 
uh, salutation. No, that's a uh, greeting as well, isn't it? I don't know. My father, my father was. Oh yeah, we read this one, and I'm pretty sure we read the other one too. All right, what about in here? The little girl. Yeah, she still says the same thing. Okay. What else? Let's go up here now. I'm gonna find some card players soon. The old Imperial Jail isn't in use anymore. All the demon prisoners were transferred to the mine. At least they make themselves useful there. Hmm, the door is closed. That's okay, we'll be able to... Mm, open that soon, but it's... Kind of a tricky thing anyway. You'll see. Those kids seem to be up to no good again. How'd they manage to get the keys to the old jail? Jail. I think this guy we can battle. Yeah, the old jail has been abandoned for a long time. But walking by the other day, I heard some weird sounds inside. Maybe it was just some rats. Ready for a game of cards? Yes. Alright, here's another relatively easy play. Oh, we got that one. Uh, we can actually summon that because this is worth two. This is worth one. Now we can summon it. Boom. Halfway there. <laughs> In fact, I literally don't think there's any play he can make to, yeah, well, not like, not, especially, not now. <laughs> goodbye, 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 I win. <laughs> God, that was the fastest card game I think I've done. <laughs> that was really lucky. Yeah, like I said, there, there is luck involved. The Imperial Guard card. Let's have a look at that card. Ah, it's this one. This is a good card, actually. It's weak, but having first attack sometimes makes all the difference. Uh, oh, did I, I forgot, I literally wrote this in my guide and I forgot to do it. I was supposed to go in here, to the courtyard, so I could get collectible star number 16. I love collectibles. Probably not like Breath of the Wild collectibles, because I'll be there for forever. But, I mean, I'd still like that. If I had infinite time, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. It's fun. The Colosseum is closed. We don't have enough fighter. What? We don't have enough fighter. <laughs> don't have enough fighters. Who would fight if they didn't have to? Come back later. Maybe some brave fighters will look for a challenge. Who would fight if they didn't have to? Goku would. He only lives for fighting. Okay. Uh, the palace isn't maintained as well as it used to be. I suppose it's only natural everyone would rather have fun or earn money than serve the emperor. But us guards will be loyal to him till the bitter end. Yawn. During the war you could still become a famous lieutenant. But in peacetime, there are no enemies for the army to fight. Do you think anybody will attack soon? That'd be awesome. Okay, we can't go in there. I don't know if it would be awesome. What about you two crazy low birds? Um, it's nice out today, isn't it? Y yes. Do you... Yes. Do you want to hold hands? Okay. <laughs> Same thing? Yeah. Okay. I always forget that. And... okay. This guy? Does he have anything? I find that traders just don't get enough respect, you know? I'm serious. We work so hard and for what? Thankfully we've formed a council that lobbies for our interests. Maybe one day the council of traders will be more powerful than the emperor. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> have you heard of the prophet? Mmm, yeah. Really? People are saying that he's going to destroy the world. I thought that was just a legend they told to scare kids. Have you heard of the prophet? No. Nope. They say he's going to destroy the world, but I don't see how that's possible. Now we can play this guy a card too. He's on. <laughs> he's asleep, but we can play him cards. Now he has 40 life, and so immediately they're like, whoa, 40 life? I can't beat him. But he's actually surprisingly easy, so it's just a bit of a grind to actually knock down his 40 life. So that card there is one of the, like, um... I forget what they're called. Something forces... something imperial special forces, something like that. Uh, and they're basically completely useless. <laughs> um, yeah, you see how he's got like zero attack, two life, and trample. So he didn't even attack because he had zero attack, so yeah, basically useless. You could purposely avoid um, the these card players that have... Um, Let's see, um, I'll talk about it in a second. You could purposely avoid these card players that have um, 40 life, um, so you don't get those cards, um, at least not right now, like you could get it at the end. Um, but uh, because then they become part of your like pool of cards and then 
Obviously, it's, um... Let's do that. Uh, and then because they're useless, you just have to get rid of them all the time. But I don't really care, it's not super important. There you go, there's two of them. Like, it's still possible to, um... To beat the game with it, so don't worry too much. Okay, we shall summon this guy. Yeah, as you can see, I've lost two health and he's lost 13, so pretty well. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Wait, that one attacked? That's weird. Hmm. Very, very weird programming there. Uh, let's put Bear Man there. Boom. <laughs> okay, doing well. And there's the other one. So they each have two health, no attack, and first strike, ranged, and trample. Some of their cards are pretty strong. That was a good... Yeah, look, look at the, the grizzly will take out all of them. Boom. <laughs> Perfect, and now we're winning. Yes, kill it. Damn, I was hoping for programmer art. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one. See if I can bolster up my mana. Even though I could summon it, I was waiting for something stronger because, like, he won't be able to deal enough damage to kill me. Or he might. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Nah, we'll be fine. Damn, that is a terrible draw. Okay, so we have to do this, and this. Okay, we should be able to win next turn. And... we... no, not quite. Damn. Uh, hang on a second. Is there a way to win this? God, we got two program art, I didn't realize. I don't think there is a way to win this. We can do that. And then, let's get rid of this one. See what happens now. Oh, oh I didn't even realize what happened. <laughs> very lucky you know there it is a card I must have like got a trample through or something like that I didn't even notice green task force there he is silly Billy he kind of looks like Raccoon from Dragon Ball Z and I think that's what they're supposed to be based on um, the Ginyu force all right in the library we can get some mana very important make sure you pick that up well it's like well, it is important for the Platinum, but in terms of, like, the game, yeah, it can go either way. Um, I'm searching for a very special book procured by the explorer Largo during an expedition to the frozen continent. Now, I could have sworn it was around here. I'm beginning to worry about dear Miss Velvet. I do hope she didn't encounter trouble while travelling to that pirate island. I really have more important things to do than chat with former students. I better not let them see me. Where the hell are you? <laughs> ah, are you, in, are you interested in the history of the Empire? Did you know that after the Emperor was defeated, a staggering number of demons appeared in Demonia as if by magic? This only served to prolong the war, and many died in its wake. Okay. The tale of Dolkin the Red makes my hair stand on end. Surely was he was a fine... Surely he was a fine colonel, but he also sacrificed his entire army in order to kill Magus. Wasn't there a less violent way to go about it? Anything else here? Nope. Okay, let's talk to the main guy. Welcome to the Great Library of Genova. We catalogued the most ancient text texts to be closely studied. Hmm, I thought there were more people to battle in cards. I think I've like literally gone over everyone. I felt like one of you were card players. Very weird. Alright, I guess I'll do one quick last go around, just make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've visited every every place. Oh well. 
I was having fun playing cards. <laughs> Shields, went over there. Can't go in that one. Went to that one. Gone to the inn already. Yeah, okay, we've explored the entire place. So now, let me just make sure that I've done everything. Pretty sure I have. Yep, okay, so now let's talk to the boy. Boy. Um, what, you want to enter our secret base? First, you got to bring me the five keys that prove you one of us. We each keep close watch on our key, so it won't be easy. What? You've got the five keys? Whoa, you're so totally awesome. I'll let you in. I'll let you in then. The prophet will see you in a bit. If you talk to him before um, you get all the keys, you can come inside our secret base now. Um, if you talk to him before you get the keys, um, he'll tell you that he dropped his key in the mine, even though he just said that he would keep it close to him. Alright, now we're in a, like a sewers area. And we gotta destroy all of the pots. Oops. <laughs> my thumbstick, I motioned my thumb to the left for whatever reason. I think, yeah, okay, there we go. I thought it was in the last pot that you break, but it's the top left one. The top right one, sorry. What the hell? How did I attack through the wall? <laughs> How did you get on that side? And I can't jump that gap. Somehow you can. Will you stop following me around? And who do you think you are going around breaking everything in our base? You can't prevent the great disaster from happening anyway. You never managed to get all the way here. Nee, 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 nee. Okay. Let's try going up here. Okay, so here we have a little puzzle. Um, not too hard. Uh, we just got to make sure that all the pipes are um, in the correct place. So let me just think for a second. So we got to do, I think it's this, then this, this, oh yeah, I don't think this is going to work, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, hang on, nope, that's not going to work, idiot, uh, wait a second, it might if I do it like this. There's also a path down there. Okay, so now we go here. And then go around. I like this one, it's a fun puzzle. And now finally lift this up. And push this into place. We've locked ourselves in, but that's okay. Because plot convenience. <laughs> anyway, we have to fill everything up with water. We have to fill up the sewers with water so we can continue. Nice animation. <laughs> okay, now to get out we have to actually like bust our way out like that. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can go up here, can we? No. It does look like there's something up here, but... <gasps> oh, there is! Oh my god! That must be where I gotta go. Uh, I... Well, I don't have the ability to break that right now, but I... <laughs> just realised that I've never actually gone down there and done that. Ah, uh, hilarious. There must be a collectible star, and then that means I'm missing one. <laughs> I'm just, like, thinking about the rest, because I think I have, like, 28 now in the... in my version, in my practice playthrough, so... I was trying to work out where the last ones were. <laughs> ah! Look what you did! You collected the five keys! You flooded our secret base! Water covers everything! Ah! Okay, so they're playing make-believe with the flood, okay. Um, and you shattered my pot into smithereens. You are... The Great Destroyer. Even the fake prophecy came true. <laughs> so that's how you become the Great Destroyer, Koro? I guess we got worked up over nothing. But we still have to stop the Prophet. We ran into him in the future. He's clearly nuts. He must be behind the Great Disaster. You see those droplets hovering above the water, Koro? I 
think I can use my power to freeze them. It's worth a shot, right? Yeah, so we've actually seen these things before, um, but now we have velvet to freeze them, so let's do that. Yay! Uh, but we are out of time, so we're going to continue next time. But I want to thank you all for watching episode 33 of Let's Platinum Evil Land Legendary Edition. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.